Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss one of the hottest debate topic in the data engineering world, which is like which programming language is well suited for data engineering. So without further any ado, let's get into it. So in this video, we are going to go over some of the programming languages that many data engineers are using around the world. So we are going to discuss about their pros, their cons, and which one should be ideal for you. So most of the people out there are just starting into the data engineering field and the confusing question they will encounter that which programming languages they should use for data engineering and enter into the data world because some of them will have a better grip on the Python but some of them will have a better grip on Java. So in this video we are going to go in detail about these languages and what are their pros and cons. So I hope you already know that data engineering is like a backbone of every data driven organization, which includes extracting, transforming and loading the data so that it will be readily available for the further data analysis for the data scientists, which are then detectives of the data and interprets the data to get some meaning out of it. So programming language plays a crucial role in this process. So it helps every data engineer to design their pipelines as well as handle vast amount of data and make this data solution highly scalable as well as highly available to the end users. Let's talk about one of the most popular languages in the world right now, which is Python. And it is often known as a Swiss army knife of the programming languages. Why it is that? Because it offers wide range of frameworks as well as the libraries which are available and especially for every data professional out there. So for example, in data engineering field, there are some libraries like Apache Spark, Dask as well as the Pandas which are able to handle vast amount of data with ease and we can do all sorts of data transformation to process that raw data into the required format. The next programming language is the Java, which is also referred to as the powerhouse of big data. Why is that? Because Java has the greater advantage of the massive scalability. So it can handle big data at huge scale as well as it makes the system highly available. So it is well known for designing the data solution, which is like distributed to handle vast amount of data. So for example, in Hadoop ecosystem, there are some tools like HDFS, MapReduce. I hope you already know about those tools, which are for storing large amount of data and MapReduce is for like processing your big data. So it is often built in the Java language because of their massive scalability as well as the performance. The next one is the Scala, which is also known as the Apache Spark champion. So since it is closely associated with Apache Spark, which is like a great framework for processing large amounts of data. So Scala's concise syntax will make it a great choice for writing Spark applications. Also its functional programming features will allow for expressive and efficient data transformations. But let's not forget about the universal language of data, which is structured query language also known as SQL. So SQL is indispensable in the data engineering field and it is widely used to work with the relational databases. So SQL is like commonly used for data transformation as well as loading tasks, which is also known as ETL. So it can use for extracting the data from various source system. Then there comes a transformation which transform the data into a required format. And then we can dump that data or we can say load that data into the data warehouse. So this process can be written in SQL. So that is why SQL is like the major language that every data engineer should know. The next language is R, which is like very popular language and also referred to as specialist for every data analyst out there. So every data engineer who wants to get their hands dirty in the data analysis tasks, then R might be the valuable asset for you. So R is well known for its statistical and data analysis capabilities. So it's ideal for every data engineers who also wears a hat of a data analyst. So besides that, R also provides like a powerful data visualization libraries which makes it communicate with the data way more easily. So now comes the million dollar question, which language you should use for data engineers? So the answer isn't like one size fits all. 
it's very complicated because it totally depends on your expertise as well as your use cases and what tools you are going to use in the future so many data engineers out there will take the hybrid approach so they will use like python for data pre-processing then java for big data processing as well as sql for database operations but it totally depends on you but i will suggest that if you know python very well because python is pretty simple to get started into the world of information technology so if you know python and sql is also fairly simple if you have a good practice and know about the structured data so if you know sql and python you can definitely jump into the data engineering field because of the versatility of the python you will be able to use every tool in the world it is not limited to certain tools you can integrate many tools because python have like numerous libraries which can enable you to integrate various technologies inside python only and you can write python code to build your data solution and also sql is a must choice if you want to work with a structured data and in the every organization's structured data is nowhere going right every industry is generating structured data at gigabytes and terabytes of scale every day so if you know sql and python you're good to go but let me know in the comments what is your pick so at the end in the evolving world of data engineering there is no such best programming language for data engineering because it totally based on what problem you're solving for your industry so whether it's versatility of the python as well as the scalability of the java or else like the visualization capabilities of the R. It totally depends on what you want to achieve in your project. So if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.